good. I feel a little bit more independent, like I'm providing for the family and trying to help uh, the country as well at the same time and working alongside all types of women and with all types of background. The WASPs, or Women's Air Force Service Pilots, were made up of women from all walks of life. But most importantly, they were pilots serving their country in a time of great need. Over 1,100 women served as WASP pilots during the two-year period the organization existed. Plant a victory garden because I believe that 40% of all the food that you need can be planted at home. Well, we have third rotation being I'm a guard member. Uh, we go in and about England and guard different places. Day. I'm delighted to be able to speak to you all today. The United States is a great republic, and it is so because of the determination and the courage of its citizens. I and some of its other citizens have the recent opportunity to work on freedom's behalf in Cuba. And when I led my charge of the Rough Riders of Kettle Hill, we were able to have a small role in driving the Spanish Empire from the Western Hemisphere. We must protect the Americas from European intervention and European power and if we need to drive them out at bayonet point. Having done so, we now have the opportunity to devote our attention to other considerations such as preserving our natural resources and providing a square deal for anyone who participates in the world of commerce. I am nothing but an average man, but by George, I work harder at being average than anybody else. If you speak softly and carry a big stick, you will go far in the world. Thank you. From those who fought, to those who were left behind, to those who returned. This is war letters. I don't think any man can exactly explain combat. It's beyond words. If a fellow gets a yellow streak and backs down, the other boys won't have anything to do with it. But I heard the bullet go crash, and I heard about the sound of an adversity and assault. But what about the wounds you can't see? The phantoms? The nightmares? 
the ghost in your head. It will be wonderful to have you home again. We'll get a nice car and have a nice home fixed just the way we like it. I like to sit up these warm, bright nights and watch the white clouds and dark shadows go into the night. That's when I miss you most, Nara. It was 40 days of unremitting hell. In fact, the comparison was hardly fair to hell. Every second I was expecting to die, I really was. I thought I'd been tired before in my life, but nothing like this. The Continental Line is down from Virginia to join Dan Morgan as part of his light infantry. We are the only thing between Cornwallis and Virginia. If anybody can figure out how to trap old Benny Tarleton, it'll be Dan Morgan. We'll find out soon enough. Tarleton will be here in the morning. The name of this place is Hannah's Cowpens. Good day. My name is Mrs. Abigail Adams, the wife of Mr. John Adams who is currently serving in the Continental Congress in the great city of Philadelphia. I thank you for being here this fine day, the 14th of July, in the year of our Lord, 1776. It will be my honor to share with you my impressions and observations of the events leading up to our American Revolution. I have longed for this day and rejoice in the action taken by the Second Continental Congress on the 4th of July of this month. With the birth of our nation, I bid Mr. Adams to please remember the ladies. Oh, citizens, please, come in, enter. I'm glad you could come. I trust that what we were able to serve you at table here at Monticello was sufficient for your needs, and that you would consider staying the evening with us so we may discuss the press of business throughout the country and the things that are happening in these momentous times. Before we begin, I must tell you that of all the sayings I ever articulated, the one of which I am most fond is that the earth belongs to the living and not to the dead. By that I mean, I lived between 1743 and 1826. We could never have anticipated your technologies your demographics, the way you feed yourselves, the way you clothe yourselves, this would have been totally alien to us. And so I must tell you with some regret that sometimes I feel as if I am a relic who has a certain view of culture, but one that may not be useful to people who have lived long after my own time. Of course, the only way we shall ever discover the truth of this is for you to come in and sit, indulge in a glass of Bordeaux, have a conversation with Thomas Jefferson. <laughs> 